Hi, my name is Zheng Ronghuang, a PhD student in CPAS Virginia Tech. Today, in this video, I will talk about the critical conduction mode based soft switching modulation for three phase AC DC converter. This page shows the designed three phase AC DC converter prototype. Based on the proposed critical mode based soft switching modulation, we use silicon carbon MOSFET and operate at 300 kHz high frequency and achieve not only 80 watts per cubic inch high power density, but also 99% high efficiency. What's more, bidirectional operation is also allowed in our converter. Here shows the advantage of the proposed critical mode based soft switching modulation over the prior art of the critical mode soft switching modulation. For the prior art, three phases are electrically decoupled and each phase operates at critical mode independently. However, it shows large switching frequency variation range in the high frequency design from 300 kHz to 6 MHz, causing large switching related loss. In the proposed modulation, three phases are still coupled and the critical mode is combined with discontinuous pulse width modulation and the switching frequency synchronization concept, which makes switching frequency variation range significantly shrinks, only from 300 kHz to 500 kHz. The switching related loss is significantly reduced, and the efficiency is therefore improved. This page shows the control of the proposed modulation. At each instant, one phase operates at critical conduction mode, one phase is clamped or no switching, and one phase operates at DCM. Operation modes in line cycle are shown in upper right corner. For example, during 0 to 30 degree, phase B is clamped, phase C operates at critical mode, and the phase a operate at DCM. For each phase, the turn on instant is determined by inductor current zero crossing of the phase operating at critical mode, while the turn off is determined by individual average current loop in each phase. Finally, DPWM determines which phase is clamped according to AC reference current. Here also shows waveform to illustrate the control concept. Phase A turn on is synchronized to phase C turn on. That is, both phase A and phase C turn on are determined by phase C inductor current zero crossing. While phase B is clamped or no switching during the first 30 degree. This control is implemented by MCU digital controller. For higher power operation, more devices are required in this converter. Compared with device or channel direct parallel, we prefer channel interleaving operation. Here shows the two-channel interleaving concept. With this two-channel interleaving control, ripple cancellation is achieved for total AC current and also inductor current. And 20% conduction loss reduction is achieved. What's more, passive component size is reduced. For example, the converter side inductor size can significantly shrink, which also provides opportunity to use PCB winding inductor and achieve manufacturer automation. This is a prototype of our three-phase AC-DC converter. We use 12 1.2 kV silicon carbon MOSFET to deliver 25 kilowatt total power. Here, these parts are switching devices. These are driving circuits. These are DC link capacitors. And these are converter size inductors. The footprint of this prototype is 17 by 7.5 inch square. And the height is 2.4 inch, including the space reserved for heat sinks. Based on the proposed critical mode sub-switching modulation, 
Switching frequency is above 300 kilohertz. This is a line cycle waveform showing three-phase AC line-to-line -line voltage and the three-phase inductor current. The average of the inductor current is a good sinusoidal shape and the THD is about 5%. These are a series of switching cycle waveforms for the phase operating at critical conduction mode. From the top to the bottom are gate signal, drain source voltage of sigma carbon MOSFET, and the inductor current. We can see that at each time instant, the ZVS is achieved. This is an experiment result tested at 177 VAC, 500 VDC, and 4.5 kilowatt. Here, from the top to the bottom, are a VAC and the drain source voltage and the inductor current. The AC current THD is smaller than 5%. Also, here is the zoom in waveform showing the switching cycle. We can see that the waveform is clean and uh, the ZVS is achieved. The efficiency at this point is 99%, which validates the high efficiency of the proposed modulation. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoy it. Bye.